Hi guys, we are in my reading corner and I don't know which video I'm going to upload for first but I did film a um, get ready with me book recommendations video so I'll leave that link down below just in case you haven't seen that yet and um, today I'm going to be doing the no disclaimers book tag. I was going to do the mid year freak out but like literally we have one more week until June like I can wait to do that video okay. Um, but yeah today we're gonna be doing the no disclaimers book tag which tag annoys you the most and i don't hate this tag like i just i don't know because i can't say i i don't mind this tag like it doesn't make me angry i the love triangle trope trope really annoys me but not in the reason why it, it like annoys everyone else like everyone else hates it because like i don't know it's very like cliche and typical and like it's very very overdone but I, I don't mind them it just annoys me to where it could easily be solved where you can just put the characters in a poly relationship like literally just have the girl dating both the guys and i'm pretty sure they'll be fine with it unless they're like selfish and they want her all to her like want them want her all to themselves which i mean okay but you would be better off dating her with the other guy i'm just saying um or they can have all three of the people dating each other which will also be very good like Polly is very very underdone in books and I think a lot of authors don't realize that it's a choice to have your characters all date each other like you don't have to have them fighting over this girl I just feel like an easier solution would be to have the characters date each other like I think in Clockwork Angel this would have worked perfectly I've only read the first book and I haven't really completed it but the seated dynamic between Will and Jim is that they're both like best friends so this would have been like a really easy poly relationship I do know that Cassandra Clare did put Polly in Lady Midnight which is why I want to read it so bad well not in Lady Midnight but in that like series there's a poly like couple and like the only other YA or book in general that has Polly in it is Strange strange grace which i really do want to read but authors could easily just make their characters poly and make them all date each other instead of making like them fight over this one person but that's why i'm annoyed i also do really really hate the chosen room trope and i do hate the strong female trope not like uh, i hate women but i think that the strong female trope is always overdone in the fact that women always have to be like this like in the books they always have to be like this hard-headed person who does what they want to do and they do what they want to do when they want to do it and they don't listen to anybody else and it's very 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 annoying and i just wish that like i don't hate the trope itself if that makes sense like i'm not saying like i hate strong women obviously not because like look at me you know i just hate how they don't want to listen to anybody else and they're always just like stuck on their ways and what they want to do and somebody else will have a smart obvious idea and they'll be like no like we're gonna do it my way like i want to be included like i don't know it's just very 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 annoying which writer or writer do you think is overrated or overhyped i think that marie lou is actually overhyped and overrated like i've tried to get into her books so many times like i read batman by her i didn't really like it i read young the young elites and i thought i was gonna love that because like the, like I thought I was gonna be able to like relate to the main character because it seemed like I thought it was gonna be like a villain origin story but it like it just I didn't really like how the main character thought like she was very much like I need to kill I could kill all these people right now and it's like okay so do it girl do it you talking all that stuff but you walk in the you talking to talk but you're not walking the walk you know and I just don't um I tried to read war cross and it's not that i hate it i just couldn't really get into it i do think that john green is overhyped but that was like nobody has been hyping that man up since like 2012 so that would be a very basic answer like no offense to john green like i loved his books at the time but rereading them they just were not that good like looking for alaska was my all-time favorite book when i first came on booktube like i'm pretty sure in my booktube my first video i was saying how i loved it then i reread it recently and i was like no this book is not good and like I don't know I feel like back in 2012 they were good but like now they just wouldn't cut it what are your least favorite books since you recently started booktube um I don't really like I don't really I, well I don't really like the raven cycle and I've talked about this in my unpopular opinions video I just don't think that anything happens in the book and I really really want to like read the books because I love the covers so much and I actually really love the characters like Ronan I love Ronan like Ronan is so 
me of course i like blue and it has my all-time favorite trope which is the one girl and a group of guys trope like i love that trope so much and so it like seems like right up my alley but it's just very very boring and it doesn't have a plot and i'm a very like i'm not i don't want to say i'm a very plot driven person but i lean more towards plots than i do characters like i love characters obviously but i, I think i just lean more towards plots than i do characters which is like which is fine but a terrible ending that ruined an otherwise quality book i don't know i don't really read books that have like terrible endings first of all i don't even finish books that much let's start there yeah i really don't i don't really read i'm not that good at reading series like i'm absolutely terrible at reading series i think i finished three series so far and i'm not even finished because um what's the book called shatter me series is still releasing books so i'm caught up on it but i haven't finished it so yeah i haven't finished i'm not that good at finishing series um the only series i finished is up uh, to all of us i love before and a series by lj shin called all sinners all, all saints high series no sinners of sinners of saints sinners yeah sinners of saints and that was like a it was like a what are they called they're not like it's not like you have to read the one book to read the other they follow different characters basically so it really doesn't matter but yeah Define me right now. If Define me wasn't any to a book, that would be very, very disappointing. The book itself, not even, I don't even remember what happens at the end of that book. The whole book itself was a disappointment. And I'm probably not going to finish the next book. So I can't really answer this question because I don't finish series. Like, I, I'm so bad at finishing series. Like, literally, I'm on Scarlet right now. All I have to do is just, I'm going to have to reread Scarlet, but like, I like the series, so it shouldn't, it's not like I hate it or anything. And like, all I have to do is reread Scarlet and then finish Winter. But no, like the way my brain works is just I cannot finish series. Like I suck at finishing series. I don't know why. Which fictional characters do you wish were not killed off? Obviously, this is a spoiler, but like Harry Potter is like 50 years old. And I say this all the time on Twitter. Cedric Diggory should not have died. Like Cedric, and maybe I'm biased because that's my boyfriend, but still like he deserves to be alive. Justice for Cedric Diggory. Cedric Diggory deserved better, okay? Like like jk rowling did my man so wrong like she did my man so wrong and i'm gonna sue her for doing that to him but like yeah like other than that any other character death is justified to be honest well here's a spoiler for shadow and bone which i can't even spoil like how do you spoil a series that you haven't even finished yet because book twitter ruins everything and they spoil everything all the time so i basically know the endings to like all the books i want to read because book twitter is absolutely ass but spoiler um spo spoiler alert for the Grishaverse um the Darkling dies in the end and like he deserved better even though I haven't finished the book but he deserved better so yeah what are some of your bookish pet peeves like, um I really really hate Insula but like who doesn't um I also hate like very like cliche like romance it's like the characters me and then they're like they go on our date and they're like each other like i just hate like when things are easy for the characters to fall in love like if that makes sense like i don't know this isn't real life why do i have to read about you meeting this guy and like hanging out with him and going on a date i don't know i guess I, i'm the kind of person who loves hate to like i love the hate to love romance like enemies to lovers hate to love like we stand and so like this isn't real life like why do i have to read about these characters like meeting each other and going on dates and all this stuff like if i wanted that i would go find a guy on tinder slow burn i guess i really like slow burn but it has to be good slow burn and i just cheesy i don't like cheesy i don't do cheesy i'm not that's not me and i mean if you like that that's completely fine but me i'm not a simple girl what are some books you feel should have more recon recognition? Um, I don't know, but I tell you that I don't know, cause I honestly I read popular books. Like I haven't read like a popular book. Like I haven't read like an unpopular or untalked about book. Like I all of my books I own are pretty popular. Like I usually read books because of recommendations. Like if a book hasn't been talked about by a booktuber, I'm not picking it up. Like if a book hasn't been recommended by a booktuber, I'm not picking it up sorry but like somebody i know has to like the book you know and i don't really think there's any books out there that are like under hyped 
that I really care about, to be honest. Um, if you, I will recommend a book though. If you're into the fairies, there is a book called The Two Princes of Summer, and it's a very like I don't know, it reminds me of The Cruel Prince, and I really really liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it, and it's of course is a love triangle. But the love triangle was done very very well like it was done in a way where i didn't care which character she got with i really didn't like i don't know who to root for is like that's how it is i'm like i'm really conflicted obviously i haven't finished the series yet because i'm trash but i really liked it and i think that you guys should pick it up the covers are very very beautiful as well so what are your thoughts on censorship and banning books? I actually very I have very strong feelings about censorship and ban banning books, but like as of like everybody else, like I feel like we all on BookTube have the same opinions of like censorship is dumb and you shouldn't ban books and banning things does not stop people from getting what they want. Just like abortion laws, that's not going to stop women from getting abortions. That's not going to stop women from going out of state and getting abortions. Like that's not going to stop women from doing danger dangerous things. It makes things even more dangerous at that. Like it makes people want to go to the extreme to get what they want to get, and like it doesn't it doesn't help. And just because you like censor things for your child doesn't mean that they're not going to find it elsewhere. Okay, I was watching this video once, and it's about this black girl, and she lives in Italy. And I was like, that's very cool. So I really love her channel because she's a black girl who lives in Italy. Like, duh, that's amazing. And so she was telling a video about how kids there drink at like 16. And like, they don't like, by the time they're 21, like no one really like cares about drinking like that. Like, they don't really, like they're able to drink at a young age. So they're not like going out having parties every weekend, like doing what they want to do to get drinks. Like they hang out and stuff, but they're not like really pressed. To like get drunk you know and by the time they're 21 like they're already they're, it's already legal at 16 so by the time they're grown like it's not really that big of a deal to them whereas in america it's not legal to get um drinks until you're 21 but that doesn't stop underage drinking and it doesn't stop people like i said kids from going to the extreme to get what they want and i feel like banning things and doing stuff like that only makes things worse and not easier and we're gonna leave it at that if you want like a longer discussion on censorship and banning books and banning things in general then let me know because your girl has opinions and your girl like i have a lot of opinions on that so i could really do a discussion video on that if you're interested and the last question is who do you tag i don't know who to tag so if you want to do the video do the video have fun knock yourself out but yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed and bye.